Hey y'all, it's Sabrina. I am back to do another shopping haul. This time, uh, we're going to talk Paul Andrews. So Paul Andrew is a New York City based designer. I believe he's from overseas though. Anywho, he specializes in women's, he does some men's too, but women's, um, women's footwear. His aesthetic is sexy, bold, confident, very feminine. I, I don't know what's going on in, he, in his head, but he's almost figured out like the perfect shoe or shoes collection for the modern, strong, independent, confident woman. I love every shoe I've seen come from his brand. And I wish that I had every shoe that came from his brand. Unfortunately, they're very, very expensive. I want to say they range between 300 to a thousand dollars I mean they're pricey but what I will give him is not just design the beautiful design but they're also really really comfortable and they hold up well I've gotten a pair of maybe two or so pair of his shoes at previous sample sales and they're just they're phenomenal so when I found out he was having another sample sale I went right over there as soon as I could <clears throat> right after they open and um I talk more about the sample sale and I did a full review, which is on my site. Um, so maybe I'll do a separate video just talking about this for those of you who prefer to watch. Um, but I'm going to leave those details for a separate conversation right now. I just want to show you all some of the beautiful shoes that I was able to snag. Um, this particular sale was two days and his are usually two days. And I typically only go for the first day, but I just happen to go back for the second and ends up getting more shoes on the second day. So I have the second day shoes sitting right here. Let me just hold those up. So these beauties are just a simple wedge here, uh, two strap wedge. Uh, they're suede and patent leather and the reason I like these so much is because they're just they're simple But they are sleek right and I usually steer clear of wedges because I'm always paranoid that I'm gonna turn my ankle But I walked around in these and they were secure. They felt secure. They felt comfortable They didn't feel like they would be flopping up and down when I wear them and another thing as you can see the heel here and this is what I like about Paul Andrew not only did he take such a, you know what would otherwise be a simple design and just beautified it but he adds interesting detail like this that just you know show class and and sexiness and thoughtfulness and that could catch your eye very simple but that could catch your eye so i absolutely love these and i feel like these are a good staple piece to have in every lady's wardrobe <clears throat> these stunners so these are an ankle strap heel oh sorry and as you can see they buckle around the back pointy toe suede and then the heel is metallic silver. Uh, the, uh, there's so many things to love about this. First of all, the heel, the pointed heel is beautiful. Not too narrow, not too wide, the right width. Ankle just for women, just, my dog is snoring. So in case you hear a loud size in the background, that would be my dog. <laughs> I wish I could just pan around him so you could see him. He's a counting sheep right now. Anywho, ankle straps are just always good for women. They're just so sexy and classy. Um, and then also, I just, I really like, I don't know what this is called, but this essentially the structural detail here, right? If you have the top of the shoe that does one thing, you have the heel that does another, and they just work so well together. Um... I like how the, the structure of the heel kind of tapers in. Um, as you can see here, it's not all one size. It's just, again, simple detail, or maybe it's not so simple, but he does it in a way that's just so elegant and different and that catches your eye, but that's also very classy at the same time. So those are my two day two shoes. So we're two for two on black as well. 
keeping with the black theme, these are a little more, I would say, sophisticated in the sense of, you know, slingbacks are a little more, eh, we'll just say sophisticated, right? But the way that he did it, again, with, sorry, I'm like moving all around here. Um, the kind of structural detail here makes it feel a little more youthful. I also like the fact that he played with this um, kind of shiny texture here that makes it also more youthful. I love texture, fabric, embellishments, patterns. Like I like interesting touches. So the fact that this is, uh, that has this glittery sheen finish is very fun to me. Um, so yeah, this is, I think, a really cool modern take on like a classy silhouette that a regular slingback, I'm not that interested in. But this slingback, I'm super excited about. So, all right, so I got three black shoes. Now we're gonna go into the colors. Let's go with this one. Now, these are metallic silver pumps. I have been wanting a metallic silver shoe. I'd actually wanted a metallic silver booty, and he had them, but they were on sale in my size, and I tried them on, but they were $250. And not that that is not a good deal. I don't know. I just didn't want to pay $250 for those. Um, so I got these, which were, I believe these were 50 it's just, it's a, it's a pump, but look at, I mean, I actually hold it up against my black. Maybe that make it a little more visible. Yes. No, maybe so. There are some designers that get pumps, right? Jimmy Choo, Stuart Weitzman, Manolo Blahnik, Paul Andrew. The design is so sleek, so feminine, so just and how I mean we've seen pumps every day all day for years but there are very few designers that get it right in my humble opinion I just adore this shape I think these are beautiful and I also like this again he does really well with interesting subtle simple interesting detail that adds uh cool elements and of course the color is just unique I think you don't see metallic silver pumps very often, at least I don't. So I am super excited about these and they satiate my long lasting desire for a silver metallic shoe. Speaking of silver metallic shoe, these are the last pair of shoes that I got and the ones that I'm most excited about. So this is a metallic silver mule. The light is not wanting me to be great right now. So you can see this metallic. And um, again, the heel. See the shape of the heel? How it kind of curves. Oh, didn't mean to touch the bottom of it. Um, curves in right here. Very sturdy, but an interesting element here. And then ankle straps. Again, embellishment straps. And these are they're fabric textured. Uh, oh. Yes, Paul. Paul, you have done it again. Gorgeous. I'm very excited about my shoes. How funny is it that out of the shoes I got, half of them are more than half of them are black, and I'm overly excited about them. I remember when my mom, when I was little, my mom had all these black shoes, and I would ask, "Why do you have so many black shoes?" Yes, I am that person. I think it happens when you get to a certain age. I think I've reached that point. So yes, I'm very excited about all the shoes from Paul Andrew. Uh, sample sale, great quality, beautiful shoes for amazing prices. I can't wait for the next one. Make sure you follow uh, me on Instagram and subscribe to the mailing list because I will let you know what the next ones are. And I will also let you know how to get great deals, uh, what times to go, when not to go, how to make sure you go and aren't overwhelmed, what to look for in terms of getting shoes that are in good quality versus those that are not, etc. So make sure you check out my website, subscribe to the mailing list, and follow me on Instagram.
Instagram in the meantime, between time. Let me know if you have questions, comments. Again, I'm always looking for inspiration on how I should wear these. How would you wear them? Let me know. And thank you for watching. Till next time. Bye.